it's Amanda and I want to talk to you about our mineral touch makeup as you can see I have nothing on my face yet so that we can walk through this together why I wanted to talk about this is because it's part of the kudos this month you can pick your foundation color you can pick a palette one of five you can pick a lip stain which we have three exclusive colors this month and you can get a cute little makeup bag for $89, which is a very, very good deal. Since our foundation is normally $39, $40, and our palettes by themselves are normally $50. So you're getting a very, very good deal. So you want to take advantage of that. So let's talk about this makeup. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the makeup, I'm going to be using Velour. The reason why I'm using Velour instead of organza, which organza is usually for people with pink undertones, which I think I have, is because I want to neutralize the color. I don't want to add more pink into my skin. I want to, I want to use, I want to um, neutralize it so that it's a, like it's a plain palette so that I can add my own color to it. I hope that makes sense. And I hope I'm using the correct words because I am not a total makeup guru. Okay. So we're going to use the velour today and I'm going to show you a couple techniques. So I have already washed my face. I have toned it with the rose water, honorable mention. They changed the bottle. It won't break if you drop it. And the pump is amazing. It's, it's awesome. Oh, just got all of my screen. Anyways. Okay. So we washed, we toned, and I actually primed. To be honest, I already started this video, but Lucas is going crazy, so I had to stop it and redo it again. So I will skip that step for you. I applied my primer already on. I'm already ready to go. I am on to my makeup. And I was going to tell you, there's a few ways that you can apply this makeup. So I know some of you might have already seen the videos where they use the puff brush, four drops of the puff brush, and they just buff it in, right? The thing is, you're not really supposed to put liquid in these type of brushes. It's not good for your brush. It will damage them. But some people are doing it. Some people are also putting drops on their face and then buffing it in. Some people, like what I do is I apply it on my hand and then I dab it and I use my blending bud. You can also use a um, foundation brush, which is actually like kind of painting your face. Or the other thing that we have is the actual foundation brush, which is dense bristles, and it has an, a hole in the middle, so you just put your liquid in there and you just buff it in. So try it out, many different ways to use this product. But I, today, am going to use my hand in this. The reason why I put it in my hand is so I can warm it up first before I get to my face. It's nice. Okay, trick. Make sure you shake this bad boy every single time you use it. You need to get all the product perfectly mixed and blended together. The other thing you need to do is empty out the dropper. Because what's happening is if you're mixing it without dumping out the dropper, there's still product in the dropper that needs to be mixed up. So you empty out the dropper completely, put it together, and shake it back up. Shake it up, shake it up. <laughs> Sorry. I just had to. Okay, here we go. Put it in my hand. Couple drops, few drops. You can always add more. Don't want to waste the product. A little does go a long way. Okay. But the thing is with the blending bud, it might absorb a lot of the product, so that's the only flaw. You also might want to take your finger and just dab on some places first. But once again, I have to use my I'm not really going to, I guess I can use the viewfinder, but I will be staring at the viewfinder and not talking to you guys. Okay. Just getting that all over. And this is amazing. It is a liquid, but it dries like a powder. It's really nice. It does not feel heavy, and it does not feel cakey. Okay. So I'm going to use my mirror that I used last time my little unique mirror so that I can see what I'm doing and I'm just gonna blend press in this product press 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 and it feels so light And 
the thing is with this is that I usually set it with a powder because it's just kind of what I've been doing forever with anything I just like to set it with a powder you don't have to but you can but if you ha okay this is the other thing too it depends on your skin type if you have super dry skin this may not be the product for you I hate to say if you have super dry skin you're probably gonna want to go with one of our BB creams because it's very moisturizing for your skin it's really good in the winter time because if you get if you put on your makeup and you get you see all the flakes and stuff you're gonna want to use the BB cream and the other thing we do too is I've been using the BB cream with a little bit of the um, blending it together opening up the cap Blending the mineral concealer, putting it in here, mixing it up, putting it on. It'll give you a really nice coverage. But that's if you have super dry skin. If you have normal skin, this is really good. Normal and oily is really good for this one. So the same thing applies for the powder. So if you are very, very dry, powder probably isn't the one for you. So you could have a very light coverage with this one. You could just put your primer on and set it with the powder and you're good to go. But if you have dry skin, you're going to see it. I mean, powder is not that forgiving. Okay, so that's what I do here. Let me see. I might want to do a little bit more. A little bit more coverage. Except, the thing is too, like, this makeup, when I do the powder, it will actually help even more. So this isn't a really a heavy coverage. I mean, I'm just not using that much product. But it's not a total heavy application product it is more of a medium to light more of a medium I would say because you can still it still looks pretty natural it's not like like I'm wearing tons of makeup okay blend it down we don't want to see any lines okay so what I'm gonna do is real quick I think I'm okay with this I'm going to set it real quick with the powder. Good to go. Use my puff brush. I love this brush. I'm also going to use Velour. What I like to do is I kind of like that and the same thing. I kind of press into my skin. I don't like to just rub it on. I like to press in. I feel like it makes a huge difference. too is like I'm noticing myself in this camera I am super pale I think I'm really gonna hit the our uh, sunless tanner I have to I think I'm just gonna go for it because not today but I have to go for it like this blindingness is really distracting me I need some color so I I think my probably my next video will be me doing the sunless tanner because I can't take this anymore okay press it in there we go so it still does not look like I'm wearing tons of makeup. And to be honest, the person who can tell me, the one who is brutally honest with me is my husband. So he'll be like, girl, he won't say girl, but he'll say, he'll tell me, I think you're wearing too much today. So I can usually get away with this, just the light foundation or the, the liquid foundation and just a little bit of powder. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't notice that I'm wearing any makeup. But there you go, guys. I love this these products. I'm so happy. This is a kudos. I'm actually, I haven't gotten it for myself, but I'm going to order one. So you have to try it out. You're going to have to love it. Look, you can get your foundation with your palettes. And look, I have, of course, I have everything. You can pick your lip stains, and you have, they have three exclusive colors. So that's it for day today, guys. I will talk to you soon. Love you lots. Bye.